Welcome to Mendix 11. Years in the making, Mendix 11 continues on the success of Mendix 10 and its predecessors and expands it in the most important areas, speed and productivity with the help of Agentic AI. You can now upgrade your production apps to Mendix 10 24 and benefit from the most mature low-code platform on the planet. If you're excited by the fast rate of development innovations, then you're going to love Mendix 11 because we're taking app development to a whole new level. Let's dive in. Announced in beta a couple of months ago, we're happy to announce that full multilingual support in Studio Pro is now generally available for Japanese, Korean, and Chinese. This means you can now use Studio Pro with a fully localized user interface in your native language, making it easier than ever to build applications in your own context. We're confident that this will empower more teams across Asia to adopt low-code development and collaborate more effectively without language barriers. We're also adding a new language in beta, Brazilian Portuguese. This makes it easier for our Portuguese-speaking developers to navigate Studio Pro, build apps faster, and collaborate more effectively in their native language. The next evolution of the Atlas UI framework is finally here, Atlas 4. This refresh comes with a ton of improvements, like a modern look and feel with updated page templates, building blocks, and a new sidebar layout to improve your app's visual experience. This new Atlas update improves your design workflow with a rich set of new design properties, like full flex support for containers, group logically for easier navigation, complete with clear tooltips for better understanding. For those of you who are already using input widgets directly without data views, you can now set the form orientation and label width at the page level or even layout level using design properties, which eliminates the need for data views for simple forms. The layout grid design properties have been greatly expanded, with layout grid columns now supporting container design properties like spacing, cart styling, backgrounds, and borders, while layout grid rows get support for properties like spacing and the ability to apply cart styling to all columns. The update also comes with a comprehensive system of color shades for the brand colors to give you more flexibility over design system colors. And lastly, Atlas now leverages CSS variables, which let you easily override and enable runtime customization for white labeling and accessibility features. This opt-in update is backwards compatible with SAS variables, but we recommend updating your modules and custom variables to use CSS variables to take full advantage of features like runtime styling changes. If you're creating a new app, you can now get started faster than ever. Our latest feature, called Start with Maya, lets you create a solid foundation for your app in minutes. Feed Maya with your requirements in text or attachments, and it will analyze your ideas and generate the domain model, data pages, example data, and a fully functional homepage. Once Maya is done, you can directly launch your app and test its features. This is going to make starting a new app a lot easier especially with Maya ready to help you build out the app's pages, logic, and data model. Try it out and let us know what you come up with. The Mendix Agents Kit combines the existing smart app components with the new AI Agent Builder capabilities, so you can create agentic AI applications with Mendix right now. The new Agent Commons module is an evolution of what was previously released as prompt management. It lets you rapidly iterate on prompts at runtime, link microflows as tools, and connect to knowledge bases to create AI agents in the Mendix app that can be transported across different environments. To help you get started, we've included five ready-to-use agent templates that you can drag and drop from the toolbox into your microflow logic so you can easily build your agents. This is perfect for translations, summaries, and information extraction from documents. And finally, check out what's possible with the new Agent Builder Starter app, built on top of the Agent Commons module to kickstart your development. We want to make it as easy as possible to integrate your microflows as tools into the external clients of your choice. You can use our MCP server module to fast track the creation of an MCP server inside your Mendix application. You can also learn what you can do with MCP and how to do it inside of Mendix 
in one of our latest additions to the GenAI Showcase application, or by reading this blog about how to use MCP to bring Mendix business logic into Claude for desktop. And that's it for the first Mendix 11 GA release. For a full list of new features, improvements, and fixes, check out the release blog on mendix.com blog or the release notes on docs.mendix.com. You can download Studio Pro 11 at marketplace.menix.com to use all these new features right now. If you found this video useful in some way, we would appreciate a like and perhaps a subscribe, so you'll get to see more updates like this. I'm Jan de Vries, your low-code host, and I'll see you in the next video.